Hi, everybody. It's David Fry. I'm the volunteer host for the International Heart Classic Virtual Dog Show. We're going to have great fun as we make a little bit of history in putting these dogs into a virtual show instead of in a show ring somewhere. So um, glad to have you with us. We've got a great panel of judges, and we hope we're going to, we do have a great entry as well. It just closed this past weekend, but great panel of judges. And among our judges is the inimitable Pam Lambie. Pam, how are you in Phoenix? Well, I'm great, David. It's good to see you here. Um, Thank you. It's a little warm today, but it's the dry <laughs> heat, only going to be 111. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, we, we get up early and then we just go inside or in the pool. So it's all good. It's good all right, see. you Phoenix people are all alike. I've, yeah. I remember you lived in San Diego for the longest time, right? Yes, we were in San Diego for about 13 years. Yep. And you were a professional handler. I always remember you, of course, with the best whippets in the world running around the ring. But well, you know, you've had some you. other breeds too. <laughs> that that was one of my our breeds. Um, my original breed was mastiffs. My parents bred mastiffs, and so I was wow. exposed to the mastiffs as a young girl, and uh, we carried on that tradition. But uh, eventually, my husband and I bred some beautiful litters of mastiffs, and then acquired our whippets and went on from there great well that's uh it's it's those are two different breeds mastiffs and whippets very different yes very different so how do you go um, from mastiffs to whippets well my husband actually went to a lure course one day with uh, oh. a friend of his in, the, in our kennel club and saw the whippets run and said oh i just gotta have one of these and so that began our love with the sight hounds for sure I always say that I think the Whippets are the champion athletes of the dog show world, of oh, the dog yeah. world, probably, yeah. for that matter. But yeah. what that means then is, as a handler, you've got to be pretty athletic yourself. You were always a great picture in the ring with the dog. I mean, you always look good, but you're always able to keep up with them and have them going the right speed and everything, too. So that, I think, is uh, says a lot for your talents and, and well, abilities. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It was always fun to watch you in the ring. Well, um, yeah. So anyway, um, 133 judges on this panel. Uh, can you imagine? That, well, uh, that I'm, many? I'm very excited to be a, a part of this um, iconic first international <laughs> heart classic and um, such a great cause. So, and so, you know, normally we're only on a panel of maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 judges. So it is... It is exciting to be in such good company here. So that's great. Well, you deserve to be on in this group of people. We've got a lot of great people, uh, judges who have great backgrounds with particular breeds or talents as handlers or specialties. That it's fun to be able to draw on their knowledge and their their history in the sport in the in the dog show world too. So welcome. Yeah, I think most of us uh, start out as breeders, certainly lovers of dogs. And breeders, and so we go into different fields. But, um, you know, I can never imagine myself being without a dog. I think that's the great things that our dogs bring to us. Uh, I think the, it, it's reflected in the American Heart Association's Healthy Bond for Life. .heart.org is the website you can go to and find out uh, things that you probably already know about what dogs do for us and our health and our daily lives, whether it's helping lower our heart rate or our respiratory rate or lower our blood pressure, things like that. Those of us who live with dogs every day well know those things. I'm sure you see that every day in your, in your oh, yes. home. Yes. And my dogs are enjoying me being home for this long of a period of time, <laughs> that's for sure. My dogs look at me every morning and say, are you still here? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun. What... Um, Tell me what your vision is of a virtual dog show. We haven't really done a whole lot, and there have been a couple of them already, but, but uh, what's your vision as a judge, what you're expecting to see? Well, I actually have done a few, um, but this is the largest one for sure. And my vision is I think that it's a great opportunity for all of us to get back to doing what we love, and we miss our family of dog show people. Um, so not being able to get our hands on the dogs is going to be a little challenging, but not really for me because I don't have any coated breeds. So it'll be a little bit easier for somebody that's uh, judging smooth coated dogs mm -hmm. like me. But um, it's exciting to look at the, I haven't 
actually opened my um, entries yet, but um, to have that time, and you can go back and watch it again and again and again before you make a decision, so there can be some comparisons in your entries, which is a little bit more difficult to do when you're actually in the ring and you're allowed two minutes per dog. So in that regard, I think it's going to be um, exciting and a little bit more challenging too. Are you expecting to see just a fairly straightforward presentation of the dog or are you, do you think you might see some sort of uh, Hollywood productions of, <laughs> of a two minute segment for you? Well, I have to say that um, I think people uh, during this time have gotten really creative. So they have all the time in the world to perfect their little video. So they can do it again and again and again and slice and dice it until they get it just perfect. And of course, when you're in the dog show ring and reality says you're there for two minutes, might not be quite as beautiful of a presentation because <laughs> the dogs are going to be dogs. You know, they're not perfect every time. Yeah. So, But I am looking forward to it. I think um, that's part of the fun of judging, I think, is that, is that dogs will be dogs. And that every once in a while, you look around and just shrug your shoulders and say, hey, it's a dog show. Hey, for sure. And uh, this is why we love them and, and love having that time with them. Yeah. You have, your family came up in dogs too. I mean, your kids, right? I mean, you've got yes. three or four junior handlers in there. No, Maybe just two. Four. Oh, just two. Just two. Um, my I two knew daughters, it wasn't three or four. And they are, they were very, very involved in the dogs, but they also did a lot of other things through their school and, and everything. And, on to college and on to professions. And um, now um, I have one that's not involved in dogs any longer, but still is a dog lover. And another one that dabbles in it a little bit and just got a new uh, German short hair puppy. So, uh, and she also judges junior showmanship. So oh, very it's, nice. it's fun to be able to do what you love and bring your whole family to work with you. You know, I was very privileged to do that for many, many years. That's what our sport is all about, the great family sport. And uh, we have multiple generations of, of breeders, handlers, dog show people that uh, makes it fun. And we've missed them through all of this. What are you doing while you're sitting in that 111 degree heat <laughs> <laughs> air conditioned well, home? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, it's so great that AKC has offered their webinars. And um, so I've tried to be taking advantage of that but also just remaining connected, whether it's, we're so fortunate to live in this time of technology so we can stay in touch with people, whether it's on a Zoom call or whether it's um, on Facebook or any other social media platform or just a telephone. Um, and I think that's, we are a tight knit community and the family that we are born into is such a great thing to have, but our dog show family is a family that we choose, and we miss that. That's very well said, and I think that's the great thing that, that we, we're trying to be able to be in touch with people, and this is a, a, a step in that direction. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, well, are you going to be doing these virtual dog shows all the time? And I said, you know, we're going to make this one fun, but... I hope we're not doing them all the time. I want to do the real thing. I want to get back to my people and get back to the dogs and get back to the rings and, and uh, do what we do because that's, that's our whole circle of friends, our whole social life. Absolutely. And you don't really realize, I mean, you know that, but you don't really know it until you lose it. So um, all these ways that we can stay in touch and um, try and stimulate our dogs and learn more is just a great, great thing. And the, um, the Heart Association is so wonderful to host this. And there are so many people that have gone ahead and um, participated and are giving through this. And it's just a great thing for our sport. This event was born of the cancellation of the Lone Star Classic dog shows in Texas, um, which is, happens to be in Dallas, where the American Heart Association's headquarters is. So it, it ends up being a pretty good partnership because so many of the things that, that uh, we face in dogs with health challenges 
uh, can go right to right to the Heart Association. I, my breed, my Cavaliers, uh, we have a partnership going with some researchers at Tufts University who are now partnered with the American Heart Association. So the parent club, the American Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club, um, is in the middle of that too. So we know what the AHA can do for us. We got the Canine Health Foundation, uh, who's doing great things for dogs every single day. And, uh, and, and thanks to people at the Canine Chronicle who are helping to support this and the pu- people at Purina, um, we think we're gonna have great fun with this. Oh, absolutely. I think everybody's looking forward to it, no matter what level it's on, just to be back in and contributing to a sport that we love. That's great. That's beautiful. I'm so glad you're a part of it. It's appropriate for you to be on this 133-judge panel. Um, are you judging whippets? No, I'm judging mastiffs, my original mastiffs. breed, okay. and Rhodesian Ridgebacks. There you go. Yeah. So okay, good. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I have to say the Mastiff people have done, you know, we stopped breeding Mastiffs in about the middle of the 90s. And through that time, we saw a lot of different health issues and cardiac issues were one of them. But I think in all this time, the Mastiff people have really done great bringing the breed to good health without losing the breed type. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. And the Rhodesian Ridgebacks as well. Um, I am looking forward to seeing that beautiful athletic movement that I know that they can have and should have and probably will have. I think a little bit of a challenge might be um, maybe getting the camera over that ridge on the top of the dog. Um, But I I don't know. We'll have to see. That may come back into the creativity area again. So that will be fun. I'm sure we'll have a great time with that. I'm sure you'll have a great time too. Uh, It'll be fun to be to, for all of us to be able to judge from outside the ring. And uh, I know there's some challenges that, uh, that come to you as a judge for that, but I know you'll handle them and and you'll be a great part of what we're doing. So thank you for being on our panel. Thanks for visiting with us today. We hope thank you so much. And thank you for the, um, the kennel club that helped put this together and the American Heart Association to make this International Heart Classic a success. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you very soon. Very nice. Well said. Back at you, Pammy. We'll talk Thanks. soon. Okay. See you uh, See you somewhere soon. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. See you soon, too. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Be well. Bye.